concern really was that the largest urban center in Canada wasn't really getting any organic information. And one of the reasons that I'm committed to helping Canadian organic growers is because of the integrity of their, their organization and the integrity of the people that are associated with it. I think it, uh, it just rings true to, to a part of me. I enjoy sharing uh, the work with people whose values I really share. And I found that that's really shifting a little bit with my associations. And so this conference is a way of expressing that, I guess. So we started doing it and creating it, and it's been an exciting journey. And we've tried hard to actually have the conferences build on one another. So it just wasn't a one-off. We thought very hard about what we felt consumers were ready for, because we interact with consumers a lot at trade shows. We have a lot of... We have booths there, and I actually, I'm an introvert by nature, but I enjoy very much speaking with them and, and getting a sense of where their level is around this subject matter and what their concerns are. Like perhaps years ago, we would have gotten um, a lot of people just doubting things. Now it's, it's much less doubting the value of organic, and it's just talking more logistical things about it. So it's very interesting, which and it helps us create the conference in the sense that we're always trying to be a step ahead of the game, meet the consumer where they're at, leading edge information, and also, you know, play the game a little bit of throwing in some entertainment and, and choosing a variety of views and not hammering people with this stuff. I really don't think we do. Do you feel like we did that with that? I think we just kind of... I thought you did a good job with that. Offering something to everybody. There was something for the uh, farmer, for the public, the consumer, the student, the eater, the consumer. I thought it was well done. I, I, I liked your approach. And very reasonable. So, I mean, we're, we're trying that. It seems to be working, and the energy seems to be seems to be building. So, what we're trying to do is make organic eating and um, this shift cool and hip that you want to be. Mm -hmm. um, this, this is the thing to do that organic farming is not edgy, it's mainstream. This is conventional food. You have the, every time I see that word conventional food, I just cringe. Organic food is conventional. The other stuff is chemically induced food. Mm -hmm. It's not real food. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it seems to be working and uh, we get a lot of good feedback. So the next step really is getting people to action. That's the important thing. And I think they're getting there. I think they're starting to take more responsibility. This year we changed the, the lead title, which has always been Your Food, Your Choice, to Our Food, Our Choice. There was just something that felt a little more yeah. assertive and positive about it. Before it was like trying to give it to them, but now having them take it and I really feel they're um, starting to get it. So much so that it was exciting to, to have consumers come up to me and say, oh, you know, what's Pat Neville's email? We want to show that we support him.